Oh, hey, Heather. Hey, Amy. How's your day? Really good. I aced my calculus test today. <laughs> wow, Miss Smarty Pants. Next time I take a math class, I'm sitting next to you. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Anyway, so what are your plans for tonight? Eh, probably just gonna work on my English essay and study for my U.S. history test on Monday. Come on, that's boring. It's a Friday night. You should do something fun. Like, how much you come spend the night? I don't know. I have a lot of homework to do. Come on, you can do that tomorrow. Please. I just got a new scary movie. I don't want to watch it alone. Come on, please. Please. All right, all right, all right. I got to call my mom. Hello? Hi, Mom. Hey, Amy. How are you doing, honey? Really good. I used my calculus test today, so I'm really happy. Good job, I'm really proud of you. I guess you must have gotten your brains from me. <laughs> yeah, sure, Mom. Well, it's a Friday night, and I was wondering if I could spend the night at Heather's house. Just get this new scary movie, and we're thinking of watching it. Okay, are you two going anywhere? No, we're just gonna stay inside for the night. Okay, let me know if you do anything else. I trust you. Have a good night, then. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Love you too, Mom. Bye, sweetie. Bye. She said yes. Awesome. Well, then let's get going. All right, just give me a sec. I gotta get my books. So then he's all like, hey, baby, do you want to go to the movies with me? <laughs> and I'm all like, dude, you are not even on the varsity team. You're a bench warmer for the <laughs> junior varsity oh, team. I mean, come on. So I'm all like, yeah, dude, I'm way too pretty and popular for you. So I just walked off. Wow, way to shoot for the stars. (laughs) I know, right? I mean, (laughs) he is so dumb and immature. I mean, why would I date him? So James just texted me. He says that his parents are out of town this weekend and that he's throwing a huge party tonight at his house. Uh, Oh, cool. Well, do you want to go? I don't know. I mean, I told my mom I'd just be at your house tonight. Oh, come on. We won't even drink. We'll just go and make fun of the stupid people who decided to get wasted. And besides, I know that you like James and this could be your chance for him to notice you. I guess, but I mean, look at me. I'm in no shape for a party. Dude, don't even worry about it. I mean, I have tons of stuff in my closet you could wear. All right, then. All right, cool. I'll text him. So Joe's Camaro. Good. It's totally awesome. That's my thing. Yeah, I gotta go and get that. Okay. Hey, Heather. Hey, James. How you doing? This is my friend Amy. Hey, Amy. How you doing? Well, hey, we got everything from the captain to the keg, so follow me into the kitchen, all right? Here you go. Thanks. Here you go. Uh, no thanks. Come on, Ames, don't be such a baby. Nah, I really don't want any, and you said we wouldn't drink. Oh my god, dude, just take one sip, it's not that bad. I say, not that bad. Yeah, I guess. Hmm, Let's have a little fun then. All right.
What's up, babe? Ewing, ma'am, do you know why I'm stopping you tonight? Uh, no. You crossed over the center line, you were speeding. I just want to make sure you're okay to drive tonight. Can I see your license registration, please? You all right, ma'am? Yeah. Why don't you step on out of the vehicle for me? All right, what I need you to do is follow this light with your eyes. Your eyes only don't move your head, do you understand? Need you to take a nice deep stay breath, exhale, keep blowing until I tell you to stop. Alright? Go ahead. Keep going, 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 stop. You're under arrest for suspicion of DUI. Go ahead. Have a seat, watch your head. Go ahead, have a seat in there, I'll be with you soon. Please wake up, ma'am. It's time for your phone call. Please follow me. There you go, press seven to dial out.